Sir. Sir. I've shown an advertisement here. Get the freak out of here, dude. Unbelievable. The people in this establishment. George, you can't see my my uh, shorts, can you? Okay, good. I wanted wanted to look professional for today's video. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Cash App. Cash App is a mobile app right on your cellular device that you can use to pay people, receive money, you can spend money, and most importantly, you can save money. And today, if you download Cash App using code YouTube, you get $15 put in your account. They're literally giving you money right now if you download Cash App and use code YouTube. My personal experience with it, first time I downloaded it, is because I was buying car parts off a guy at the racetrack, paid him right there on the spot for him. Bought a set of head gaskets, which you know we go through quite a bit of head gaskets around here. Another cool thing about Cash App, you can invest in any stock with it, as long as you have a dollar in your account. You can even buy a Bitcoin, whatever you kids are into these days. Not only that, Cash App comes with a debit card you can customize. Cash App will laser print it, and send it to you. And that debit card comes with discounts at places you love called Boost. Literally, this debit card has Boost. Cash App is available to anyone 13 and up, but you can't invest unless you're over 18. You can learn all those details on their website. And I got the link in the description. It cannot be easier for you guys right now. You can make $15 right now watching this video. Big thanks to Cash App for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. All right, guys, if you're not coming to the Christmas tree race tomorrow night at Bradenton Motorsports Park, you're missing out. We are getting dialed in for this race. Just look at the blazer, dude. <laughs> dialed in, ready to rip. So tomorrow night, Wednesday night, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., we'll be out ripping a bunch of cars with Christmas trees on them. I think we have 32 cars, full field of Christmas tree equipped race cars. See you guys tomorrow night. Big Buenos Dias. Dude, you got this thing tooted up. Look at that ride height. A little bit, yeah. We had turned it up a little bit for the show and then yeah. it measured, like I remember setting it up before where it's like 24 inches from the fender to the ground. Yep. And so I tweaked it back to that and now it looks high again, so. <laughs> this thing's always moving around on us. Yeah, a little bit. How do you feel about running the Turbo 4 Honey today? I'm excited about it. I am too, new yeah. shifter. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. Works, verified that. Yep. We're not using the lockup today though, is the plan. I mean, Maybe we'll see. <laughs> he said we won't make enough power for it. Did he really? Yeah, I shed a little tear on the phone. <laughs> yes, let's see what it does. Yeah, How much we, boost do you want to go down with? I think we need to back it down just to try to make sure it goes A to B. Yeah. Because now we've got way more gear than what we had at World Cup. Yeah. And we have no idea about this converter. Wait, way more gear. First gear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, the last run it made, it had the 158, which that's a throwaway run. Now it's got a 190 first gear. Yeah, 190 first gear. So, in theory, it should be similar to yeah. the way it was before, but I think the converter is so much tighter now that it's going to take a totally different and then process. To also, I don't have to shift, right? It still does it on its own, sure. the theoretically. Yeah. So, this is the air-powered shifter, just like the old one. And we also have... A lot more breathing capability for the engine. If you guys remember a World Cup, we were having crankcase pressure issues. So hopefully that's gone today. And we'll have our intercooler back working like normal. And we will let the freedom ring. Yeah. That's the plan. Don't forget about that too. So this is a new oh, yeah. transmission overflow. Ooh. It's high. Actually, if you saw Motion Raceworks Tech Tip Tuesday. Yeah. Something that uh, Put it up a good high. idea to do. So, so what it'll do is it'll fill this up and then it'll drain and then if it completely fills this up it still runs it all the way back to the main tank oh, so fancy oh we also have our new american flag cleater motion race work steering wheel in here too <laughs> drag wheel looking good oh and last but not least we got a brand new set of tbm brakes on this unit light weight look at that hell yeah representing them tbm son Looking good. I was like, why are you putting fuel in there? <laughs> Topping off our water tank. Yeah. We're gonna need some water. And then we gotta make sure we got some methanol in here. Yeah, it just filled that already. Oh, you did? <laughs> How do you feel, Dr. Tunamal? I mean, we were dying last time when we didn't get to see what it was gonna yeah. run. Yeah, I think it's gonna be spicy this time out. I know. So what do I go here? Let it do the one two shift if it doesn't spin, and then. Yeah, let's make sure the one two shift works. Wow, spicy. You should do the, does the thing. Ooh. Yeah, 
Science. Whoa. <laughs> Science. Oh, you this, can neutral it out too. That's cool. Yeah, so I think you should get into the habit of neutraling it and shutting it off at the end of the run. Okay. That's a lot of stress on a motor that D cell, especially once you start using the lockup because it's freaking coupled. Got it. Well, I want to see how much it makes on the brake before I get out there. Put some heat in the motor. Yeah, here. Let's put some heat in the motor. <laughs> Woo! Heat in the motor. Heat in the motor. Woo, buddy. Softer than the power glide setup. For the but bump. I, yeah, for the bump, and it's bump still that violent. Yeah, imagine with it on the grippy surface. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been like. <laughs> Go uh, eight pounds, seven and a half, eight. So we're good. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds pretty spicy Sounds with all that spicy. new gear ratio. Dude, Dude, we'll big see. bump. We'll see. Really excited, guys. Spent a lot of coin on this transmission, so <laughs> hoping it pays off. They say it's the last one you have to buy when you buy one of these. So. Big Buenos Diaz for mullet up here in Gainesville, nice and cool. First burnout with a turbo full honey. Pretty soft out the hole. Okay. Want to go to the 60 foot? 27. Oh wow, that's not as bad as that. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Two. Science. Tighten it compression two. Tighten it up two clickers. Yeah. Think two, it's gonna work? Two clicks. Ty, what do you think? I think uh, whatever they did is probably good. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, they hot now. Pretty slow, and it's, it must be digging through the middle. So, dude, when I got into second, it was I thought it was gonna be in second for a second. It was like, meh, meh, meh. okay, so really? I got some work to do there. Then I don't know. I don't know if that just. I think the second gear is pretty short. Well, I, I probably have the the shift RPM set a little low. Rolled to an eight one. <laughs> Fire me up! All right, so four ninety flat in the eight. 
Yeah, what did you shift it at with RPM? I think it was 75. So we need to see what the converter's doing. Wow. And then we'll see what uh, see what that looks like. It didn't blow up. All right, guys. So we turned up the launch boost and the boost ramp and the shift point. So it should shift higher. We were at 7,300 RPM before we raised it up quite a bit. So see what we got. Right there on the wheels. Compression too tight. I think the compression is too tight in the rear. That's why it's blowing the tire off on one two shift. So we threw two clicks in it when it spun the first time. I think we're gonna have to pull those back out. But car is going a lot straighter. So yeah. Would you give it a little more? Bar in it. Gotcha. I think the hit's good. It's just the shift. We gotta get the shift this plant harder. It was wheeling just barely because I'm turning the wheel. I'm trying to put a slight input, but yeah. I can't feel anything. So I like kind of have to keep it straight. Yeah. Then once I felt some input, I turned it, it shifted, and then it all yeah. kicked at once. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Should we put the right one to 21? <laughs> Give it some stagger. And then yeah. Ty put a bunch of anti roll bar in it. Yeah. So. I wanted to see it go freaking left. Like, something. I don't, I don't like this whole. I mean, I want to set up straight, but I also want to set up a little left so in case it does go right. Yeah. Uh, Is that the one two? Yeah, the one two is right here. So it was, was it 2.5 seconds? How many RPM is this? 8,000? It was 8,076. I thought it said 8,706. You gonna lower that shift point a little bit? Sure. It's that could have been another part of it too. Like That's a lot of RPM to shift at. It was all in. <laughs> Giving her like that's the most power we've had out there. How much boost? Uh, it was like 24. Oh, brother! What did it go to the 60 foot in 336? What about 330? Did it pick up? 328. Something. Yeah. It's pulling good G though. Like it's pulling 1.8 at like 0.5. Oh really? Which I mean, obviously there's more. There's certainly more room to get in there somewhere. Ah. We'll get into it. Spice it up. Yeah, I threw a full crank in the anti-roll bar on the right rear. Yeah. And then I tightened up the rebound one click on each side because it looked like on the data that it was separating a little too fast. So we'll fire me up. <laughs> I just put some water in the water box here and when I let off the hose it had a little delay. I sprayed mullet right off the windshield. <laughs> Shoot buddy. Kevin 
job to do there, but we might need to go lower. I think we need to call M&M. &M. It's so violent on the ship. There's gotta be a solution. No, I mean, I'm sure this is... We can also always open a dump valve. So it softens oh, the... It has the internal dump valve. Yeah, we could, we could open a dump like right before the ship and let it bleed some of the converter charge off because it's just nailing the, knocking yeah. the tire off whenever it shifts. It's like clutch kicking it. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's spite, dude. What, what did it ride? I mean, it feels so good. One dude, first. 124. Three, which it's so low on boost and it's still going pretty fast. It's going so fast. <laughs> All right, guys, we made some calls. We actually spoke with the owner of m, &M Transmissions, and he says that because we have so much gear ratio with this new transmission that we need to shift it earlier, short shift the one, two, because the converter is just locking the heck up. And then we're trying to make the shift and it's knocking the tires off. So we're gonna short shift it on the one, two, which is what we kind of accidentally did on the first pass. Yeah, maybe and we did worked. it on purpose. Accidentally on purpose. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna take that advice and try it out. All right, so guys, we just figured out too, that not only was it shifting in the second when it was breaking the tires loose, then it was instantly shifting to third. I didn't even realize. In massive wheel speed. 200 mile an hour. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I Damn. tried a little trickery to save We it. went. We went from a really soft shifting transmission to <laughs> really it doesn't care how much power we got. Yeah. So hopefully this theory works. Try it out. If the rear exceeds the front by like 15 miles an hour, it dumps 20 degrees of timing to try and keep it from getting so uh, violently out of control. Yeah, I'll hear that before. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Leave the hood off. I think the problem's the hood, Kevin. Yeah. We're leaving the hood off. Okay. It's gonna go perfect. I think that was the problem this whole time. Dude, it was pulling so hard earlier, I thought the steering wheel was coming off, but it was just me pulling really hard on everything because I was like ah! <laughs> How many times have I said on this channel, turn it down to go fast? We always end up turning it way up, it never goes down, and then we turn it down and it's like Meow. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't its personal best, but it's a good run. Oh, was I not supposed to run the quarter? I thought we weren't running the quarter. How's that for back way down? 746, back down. <laughs> That works. Yeah, slowed it down, dude. I think that was only like 24, 25 Holy pounds of boost. Holy crap, 485 in the eight. Look at it, and with a weak, weak 60 foot, so. Yeah, 126, 60 foot. We've been a 10th faster. Hey, yeah. that's good. Some Dude, we do this too often where we just get more we aggressive crazy, and more aggressive. And then we end up backing aggressive. it down and we're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it does something. I feel like that wasn't that much boost. It shouldn't have been. It should have it been like 25 ish like pounds of boost. The car did not feel like it was working that hard. Was chilling. That's what that right, transmission is supposed to do. Looking like she went pretty fast. The shift felt so smooth. Oh wow, you can't even see it. Yeah, you can't even see the one two. So the one two should have been basically right there. <laughs> well, he was not kidding. It worked. He pretty much hit the nail on the head. Boy, the, the two three shift is really nice too. Like the G so is falling crisp. nice and smooth. Hey, look at that. No flare in the shift. No flare. Not like our old setup. So that was 27 pounds of boost. Nice. I mean, we put 36 to this thing before, yeah. didn't we? Yep. And then how much on the ramp then? Like 60 foot time? 
Uh, it's not at full boost until 1.8. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get a nice full rip again. Full Spicer. Okay, so we're going to come get you. All right, I'll see you down there. All right. not sound good either the computer pulled a bunch of timing or something just broke I don't know if I'm ready to hear this I'm gonna run out on the starter We heard it. Much sad. Kevin's rage pulling plugs right now. Yeah, a little bit. Is there any of them that look spicy? No. The three, five, and seven that are dirty right there are still old plugs. Well, oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah. But these, these four and this one look fine. <laughs> all amazing. right. So they all look good. Moment of truth. Last one. <laughs> None, none of these look like real aggressive or anything. I mean, they... No, it's not. That's the part that's most frustrating. I mean, this one's a lot less. Yeah. <sighs> Danger to manifold, for real. <laughs> it's barely even getting timing on the timing part. It's super, super safe. I'm all kind of sad because, you know, we're definitely ones to own up to our mistakes, but this one just is like a fluke. A lot of times we're like, damn, we ran 36 pounds of boost. A lot of time, yeah, it happens. This one, we don't think we were too hot on it. I mean, it kind of sounds fine. It sounded a lot worse after the pass when I was sitting down there. Try it. Try it. So guys, the moral of the story is we made coolant pressure via the engine pressure seeping into the coolant system via the head gasket, at least we think. Uh, luckily, Kevin's safety built in the tune caught it really fast and pulled a bunch of power out of it immediately. So it might not be really, really hurt, but it sounds fine. And the head gasket might actually hold pressure still. So we're gonna test that when we get back, but frustrating day. I mean, we barely got started and then we had this happen. So uh, it's just, Part of testing, part of drag racing. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.